But the devil can resolve. All you need, you don't need to fight. Just disconnect from that man. Yeah. Disconnect. Say, 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 say something. Thank me unto God who has, who has delivered us from the domain of darkness. And he has translated us into the domain of his son, Jesus, the kingdom of God. So that was a domain of darkness. And we have been delivered from that reign completely. We are devil free. We are judgment free. We are, we are hell free. We are sick. We are all these things are done. You, you know, the system has been paid, has been taken care of from the yeah. source. Yeah. All things have become new right now. Amen. All things have become new. We give you all the praise, Jesus. We give you all the praise, Lord. In this dimension, and this all things have become new. It's God alone. Yes. In the realm of death was a realm where in the dark system of it is not finished. The system of the fallen nature was the realm where there is, a, there is a devil, there is man, there is God. You know, you see that God is behind what is happening to you, or devil is behind what is happening to you, or you are the one causing your problem. That is a that that, that, that all realm, that is a realm. It's not a realm of the kingdom of God. God was not a king there because man was a king. Man is even the one ruling the king. Man is the one that can give God permission or give the devil permission. Man can shut God up or God or, or invite man. It's a kingdom of men. So this is a, a system where God is dead, devil is dead, man is dead. What now? That is the system that is passed away. When the Bible says you're a new creation, all things have passed away. That system has passed away. Now the system, when the Bible says that all things have become new, this system that all things have become new is a realm of God alone. Yeah, it's, not more, it's not more a realm of man, God, and devil. It's, it's, a, it's a realm of God alone. It's a realm only, in, and it is said, and all things that have become new are of God. Are of God. The fan is God. The electricity, the, the bulb is God. The keyboard is God. Everything in this thing, every, all you see is God and God and God and God alone. God alone is a kingdom of God. The realm where God alone rules. Amazing. That is all. This is the realm where you are right now. That is the realm. So everything you see, you see God in it. You don't see a curse anymore. You don't see failure anymore. You don't see disappointment. You see yeah. God. You see God. You see yeah. God. You see God, you may, even if there is an enemy standing before you, you see God in it. The Bible said, he, may, he, he prepares the devil before me in the presence of my enemy. You see God in everything. Yes. Now let's read this scripture before we just say a few things right now. It's a reign of all of God alone, all of God, the kingdom of God, which is presently with us right now. 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter 1 verse 30. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30. First Corinthians, that this is a system of God alone. The all things that have become new now is God. It's God. God. I, I see God in my past. God is my past. God is my present. God is my future. God is my awkwardness. God is my God is my season. God is my dark moment. God is my, my light moment. God is my good time. God is my bad time. God is everywhere. So look at what is look at it. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30 and 31 says, But of him are you in Christ Jesus. Wow. Who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and, 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 and sanctification and redemption. Look at what it says there. He said, You are not in Christ Jesus. Now in this Christ Jesus, Christ has been made unto you wisdom, righteousness, holiness, redemption, everything. Wow. I want you to get this again. I want you to get this. He said, now you are in Christ. Now you are in Christ. Christ has become your righteousness. Christ is now your wisdom. It's now your righteousness. It's now your holiness. It's now your redemption. It has been made unto us righteousness, wisdom, holiness, everything. So in this realm, now is a realm of the, Christ is my everything. What, what is destiny? What is your destiny? Christ Jesus. What is your tomorrow? Christ. What 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 was what is your yesterday? Christ. Christ has been made unto me everything. What my wisdom has a name, his name is Jesus. What is my strength? Christ. Christ, what is my beauty? Christ, yeah. you know, what is my hope? Christ, what is my faith? Christ, what is my rest? Christ, Christ is now everything, everything to me. This is the kingdom, this is the kingdom life. This is what is prayer, this is what prayer is. And this is what we're going to do right now. I'm going to train your mind to, to see Jesus in everything. And what is Jesus? It is finished. It's family, 
What is the wisdom of God? It is finished. It is finished. What is the righteousness of God? It is finished. The holiness of God is finished. If you are not in, in it is finished, you are not in God's holiness. If you are not in it, if you are not in the realm of it is finished, you are not in God's will. You are not in God's will. When they say your kingdom come, your will be done. The will of God is the realm of it is finished. Amen. Christ is everything to me. All I see is Jesus. Now let's get back to that scripture that says Cecilia read. Can you show me? Can you tell me? It is it Matthew chapter what? Matthew chapter 14, you forgot it. <laughs> Matthew chapter 14, that was, now all you see is Jesus, this, this, this all thing, all, all things have passed away and all things have become new. The all thing that passed away is not about things, it's a, it's a realm. It's a realm of Adamic nature, Adamic system, Adamic generation, it's what passed away. And the, all, the new thing that have come, the all things have become new is a system, it's a, it's a realm of Jesus, the generation of Jesus. A real we are Jesus is all. I, all that I am is Jesus. Jesus is my identity. Jesus is my destiny. Jesus is my focus. Jesus is my Jesus is my purpose. Jesus is my everything. A real we are. It is Jesus and Jesus alone. Now look at what happened there. It's John chapter one. John chapter John chapter what? What where did you read today? Okay. Look at look at. Who can remind me where? You know you were in John chapter what? That was. A place I want us to meditate with this scripture right now. John chapter Matthew, yeah, Matthew chapter what? Matthew chapter 14, right? Yes. Matthew chapter 14, verse. Let's read the family. Open your Bibles to Matthew. Oh boy, this is amazing. I'm gonna teach you what meditation is. That is what you know. Uh, this is so beautiful. You know, so rest meditation is a meditation in the finished work of Christ. All right. So the new age right now, the new age talk about meditation. I want you to listen to me before we read this. The new age talk about meditation. You see the picture of people you do it their hand like this and they are like this. You know, the, the new age talk about meditation. You know, it's, not every meditation is a life meditation. Rest meditation is a meditation in the finished work of Christ. It's not about meditation. It's about what you are meditating on. It's about what you are meditating on. It's not about Focusing your mind on, it's about, you are focusing your mind on the finished work of Christ. That is when the kingdom of God flows on you. Okay, he said, uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter 14 verse, from verse 25, from verse 25, the Bible says, And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. Walking on the sea, and when the and, okay, this is amazing. And when the disciples saw saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled and saying, "It is a spirit," and they cried out for fear. Do you know, family? Family in life is not about what is there. It's about it's not about what you see. It's how you see what you see. Your mindset will communicate, we interpret. I want you to get <coughs> Jesus. Jesus might be standing here right now because you are religious. Because you are religious and you are demon conscious, you'll be seeing Jesus as a demon. <laughs> because it's not about the, the person that is standing here. It's about your mindset. It's about your unrenewed mind or your renewed mind. Do you get me? The same way Jesus was walking on the sea coming and they saw Jesus as evil, as an evil spirit. It's the same way if the devil is standing here right now, he said, no, this is not devil, this is Jesus. You can change everything with your mind. <laughs> Do you get me? Yeah. Look at, let, let, let me tell you. When Jesus was walking and they saw him as, a, as the devil, as an evil, they became afraid. Do you get me? Are, so it's not about the one standing, it's about their mind. The fear was not about the person, it's about their mind. So the same way they became afraid, when it was Jesus, it is the same way, even if the devil is standing here and he said, This is Jesus, you will become restful. You, rest will happen to you. So, rest does not happen to you based on what is happening, it's based on your mental interpretation of it. Yeah, this is it's too big for you, all right? Is it too big? You're understanding this. Look at, look at, look at, look at what happened here. He said, He said, He said, and when the, when the disciples saw him, saw Jesus walking, though they didn't know him, the Bible said that people perish for lack of knowledge. The power of the devil over our life is our, is, is lack of knowledge, is ignorance of the finished 
spoke of Christ, not the devil himself. Amen. Not the devil. He said, he said, and when, and when, the, and when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they, they were troubled. So Jesus can be here and, and you saw him as evil. You saw him as evil and you will be troubled. <laughs> Jesus. Do you see this is the power of the mind? Do you see the power? Because seeing there is meditation. Okay, so and we are troubled. He said, he said, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? He said, and the, he said, and we are troubled and said, this is a spirit, and they cry out in fear. But it was Jesus. It is, it is finished. It was Jesus. It was not the devil. But their interpretation affected them. How bright your life is, how bright your mind is, determines how bright your life will be. How sound your mind is will be how sound your life is going to be. Yeah. Heaven and hell, heaven and hell is a mindset. Hell is a mindset. That is a, that is a, there are people in hell here, right here on earth. Their mind is full of evil and all that. There are people in heaven. Uh, many things to be said. Many things to be said. This is so beautiful. I'm done teaching you. I'm teaching you about the power of the mind, the power of meditation. This is amazing. You know, it, 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 uh, that was a flood. Jesus was coming. That was a Jesus. I better say it was a devil. Now look at there must be there must be a delay. And you say it's the devil. You know, like this mentality, the devil. You know, you know, do you, know, you know that some people, when you come to give them a blessing, when they, when you come to bless them, in the season of blessing, they become afraid. I, now they, they, they tell you that every level has a new devil. You know, in, in, in that kingdom, in that, in that kingdom of religion, you know, when good things are happening to you. They will be afraid. I said the devil will come and attack me now. Mm. Every high level has a high level, the high devil. Mm. <laughs> so instead of enjoying the blessing, they will be afraid because they will be it will attract a higher devil that will fight them. Right, Jesus. You see the realm of curse. In the realm of in, the, in in their difficulty, they will see the devil in it. In their blessing, they will see the devil. In their difficulty, they will be conscious of the devil. The devil is doing this. And in their blessing, they will be conscious. Hey, the devil will come now. The enemy will come. If I buy a new car, the enemy will come now. They will go to San Goma to kill me. There is no peace. Even in their battle. In their... So it's about your mindset. The devil, the, the Adamic generation. So when you see those people going to the mountain, coming to Jesus, going to, just see Adamic generation. See, this is an Adamic generation. <laughs> this is an Adamic generation. When you see people seeing the devil and devil, so you know, so for me, there is a realm we are. You know, because there's a, there's a realm we are. Delay, you see, Jesus. When you see the delay, you see Jesus. Jesus is the delay. You see Jesus in the disappointment. You see, when you say, this is Jesus, rest will happen to you. Even if it's a disappointment, even if it's a delay, the rejection, even if anything, you see, all you see is Jesus. The same, the, same, the same way when they saw this was the devil, fear came upon them. And when you see Jesus in any situation, rest happens to you. Rest happens to you. So let us finish it and just, and, and you know, uh, okay, uh, verse 27 says, But straight away Jesus spoke unto, spoke unto them, saying, be, be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid, child. Family, might be going through a problem. What is happening to me? What is happening to me? The devil is after me. Jesus said, no, child. I'm behind that problem. I'm behind that darkness, child. I'm behind that delay. I'm behind. Now look at Abraham. Family, if I stay in this realm, I feel like talking and talking, but now we need to meditate, even if it's like, you know, 20 minutes. Abraham. Abraham was buried for many years. God said God was behind the barrenness. It was not the devil. You know, Jesus said, Cheer up, child. I am behind that situation. I'm behind that rejection. I'm behind that, that divorce. I'm behind that, I'm behind that separation. I'm behind that difficulties. Child, I am behind that. That's a, that's a, that's a word God is given to you, to you today. Child, I am behind it. Cheer up, child. I'm behind it. Remove the devil out of the picture of anything that is happening to you. See Jesus. Amen. This is so beautiful. He said, he said, he said, cheer up. I am, it is I. Be not afraid. And Peter answered and said, Lord, if it is you, ask me to come. You know, the story is that 
Jesus now asked him to come. And when he focused on Jesus, he walked on the sea. Yeah. Amen. The power of meditation. Thank you for reading that scripture today. I didn't have it in mind to, you know, the power of meditation. When you focus on, on Jesus and who, who is Jesus, it is finished. You know, when Jesus said, Job, I, I am the one. Be not afraid. He's saying, Job, try it is finished. That sickness will not kill you. That disappointment will not end in death. Cheer up, it is finished. It's a, it's a finished disappointment. It's a finished enemy. It's a finished, you know, it's a finished delay. It's a finished situation, child. Cheer up. It will end in good. All things are working together for your good. You get me? It's amazing. And, and, and Peter said, Jesus, ask me to come. Jesus said, come to me, child. Come to rest. And when you focus on it, it is finished. You walk on the sea. Now, you have ability to operate in two, in, two, in two kingdoms, the kingdom of death and the kingdom of life, by the power of your mind. The Bible said to be carnally minded is death, to be spiritually minded is life. Right now, you can turn on to the realm of it is not finished, you can turn on to the realm of it is finished. By your mind, your mind is eternity capacity. So that is why we put in our mind every time here, and, uh, most especially on Friday, to focus on just as Peter. I want you to see yourself as Peter, you not know, walking on the sea. And that situation right now, you, you, you are walking, you are focusing on Jesus. And it is finished. Uh, in your imagination right now, you see Jesus in that situation. You see Jesus in every situation that is operating in your life right now. Jesus, see Jesus. And when Peter saw, focus on Jesus, he walked on the sea. He walked on the You will go through the valley and shadow of death. Nothing to happen to you because you are focusing on it is finished. In this season of Corona, nothing will happen to you because you are in the realm of it is finished. Thousands are fall at your side, ten thousand at your right side shall not come near you because you are in the kingdom of it is finished. Your mindset has been renewed in the finished work of Christ. It is finished. It's my mindset. It's my right. This is amazing. Just because of there is no time right now, let's go into meditation. I want you to increase it a little. Close your eyes for a little. Do you know that when your eyes is closed, your mind is open. When your eyes is closed, you, you, you open the, the, the power. You turn on. You turn on the power of your imagination. And your your eyes closed and your, the, the eyes of your mind open is the real is the real eyes. I have many things to be said. You see through your mind. Even when you see something, you don't see things the way they are. You see it to the color of your mind. If your mind is evil, you will see every person as evil, even if they are good. So now you have opened the real eyes, family. Right now your real eyes is open. I want you to begin to see Jesus. See Jesus with the, in the eyes of your mind. See Jesus in your life. See Jesus right now. In that sickness, see Jesus. In every situation, I, I, I can't mention it because you know your life. You know what is happening. See Jesus right now in everything. See Jesus in that situation right now. Begin to see Jesus. I want to give you a little time to see Jesus. See no devil now but Jesus. See no devil but Jesus. See it is finished. The word Jesus means it is finished. See the finished work of Christ. When you look at that thing right now, see finished. Finished. Is it a debt? There's a debt you are owing. You, 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 you don't know how to pay. See it is finished. See it in the realm of it is finished right now. I want you to have an, have an amazing focus on the finished work of Jesus now. See your life, your mother, your father. Your brothers and sisters, see everything that they finished work right now. Increase it a little because sound has a lot to do with our mind. It is rest meditation because it's a meditation on the finished work of Jesus. I want you to see, I want to give you five pages more to see, see your life, see your past in the finished work of Jesus right now. See your present in the finished work of Jesus. See your future in the finished work of Jesus. I didn't want to advise you. I didn't 
really want to advise you to close your mouth. I really want to advise you to use your imagination. There is a power, there is a power of subconsciousness. When your consciousness is alive, you are powerless. But when your subconscious is alive, your, there, there's a realm of subconsciousness. When your mouth, your physical mouth is closed, your subconscious, the power, there is a power of your subconscious. What we do here every day is to reprogram your subconscious. Your life is a product of your subconsciousness. The things that have been wired in into your life from when you were a little child and all the things you don't even know in your, sub, your consciousness that have been programmed inside you and you find yourself doing that way, maybe you are in alcohol, you are in all these things, if there is an image that has been implanted in you from, you, you don't even know that they are there, they are your subconscious, that is why you act like a Namibian, that is why you are accent, it's like a Namibian, they can identify you, that you are a Nigerian, you are a Congolese, you are, because that is a, a, a subconscious programming that you can change, you can only change it by meditation family, that is a, a, a chance that has been put into us, See, when you are in charge, you are powerless. But when you are out of control, you are powerful. When your subconscious is in control, when your conscious is out of, out of control, your, your, your subconscious becomes in control. You know? That is the red, that is a, it is by programming. It's not by talking, it's not by anything. Just like when you are learning a keyboard, the practices, practicing of a keyboard is programming you subconsciously. That is why after that you can play keyboard without even your, your consciousness involved. You can drive a car even without your mind be, be answering the phone because you are, you are entering your subconscious. So every every moment like this, we program your subconscious. This is, that is, is and how to do it, give up from your consciousness. Don't say a word. Just let the power of your imagination work on it. Begin to see, see through the eyes of your mind. It is finished. See, see. Even if you want to say something, say from the heart. From see, use the word. There is a mouth in you, within you. This is a power of meditation. And I just because of this right now, because of lack of time. This thing I'm gonna do now, and this thing I used to do every every Friday, is. I am I'm depositing something in your subconscious. You, you may not know it, you may wake up right now and think something, nothing happened, but something has been deposited in your subconscious. Now I want you to feel as if you are half asleep. The, the first time I asked you to focus on Jesus, right? But right now, focus on nothing. Just feel as if you are lying down and you are sleeping. You are out of conscious. And everything I'm going to say now, you are the one saying it. Because I use the word I. You will hear it as I. You are the one saying it. I'm depositing, I'm going to deposit something. Everything I'm saying, I'm depositing it in your subconscious realm. But you need to, for this to happen, be in the realm of Alpha. It's called Alpha. In the realm of, the, of, of unconscious. Be asleep. Be half asleep. Be half as Just allow a water to pour onto you. Allow, see as if you are putting an earpiece in your ear and you are listening to your music. Let this word flow through you. You might not feel anything, but it's, it's, get, it's being deposited in your subconscious. And as this thing grows, we're going to manifest literally. So, be, don't focus on Jesus, don't focus on anything now, don't be in a neutral form, just be like you are sleeping. Thank you, precious Father. God is Father to me. Father is who He is. I am a family of God. I belong to God. He owns me. I am owned by God, my Father. I am a 
a child to him and he is a father to me. My relationship with God is father child relationship. My relationship with God is family relationship. I am a kingdom child. He is love to me. He is grace to me. God is father to me. He is love to me. He is grace to me. He is forgiveness to me. God is peace to me. He is justification to me. I am justified. I am forgiven. I am forgiven of all my sins, past, present, and future. God is in unconditional happiness with me. He is happy with me unconditionally. He is forever pleased with me. Forever pleased with me unconditionally. Because of the finished work of Jesus Christ. Not because I am good, but because Jesus is God for me. All He has for me is life, love, grace, peace, and unconditional blessing. All that my Heavenly Father has for me is life, love, grace, peace, and unconditional blessing. I am in His finished work. I am in the finished work of Jesus Christ. <coughs> I am in the kingdom of it is finished. My life past, present, and future is a finished work in the hand of Jesus. I'm a finished destiny, a finished tomorrow in the hand of God. Thank you, Father, for I am forgiven. I am loved. I am blessed, Father. I am beautiful. I am precious. I am unique. And I am special. I am a blessing, Jesus. Your glory is upon me. I am as beautiful as Jesus. I am the light of the world. The light is shining. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am loved by God. I am loved. I am precious. I am unique. I am so special to my heavenly Father. Thank you, Father, for I am so loved, loving in your eyes, Lord. I am in the reign of God's unconditional faithfulness. God deals with me according to His own faithfulness. I am in God's unconditional sustenance. My life is unconditional success. My life is unconditional progress. I'm making progress unconditionally. Everything is working together for my good. The backwardness is progress. The forwardness is progress. I am in eternal life where everything ends in life. Thank you, Father, for my life is unconditional progress. I'm going upward and forward. What is before me is life, and life, and life, and life alone. Only life.